I tell you what, this tractor has uh, done amazing things since I've been over here. We had uh, came upon a vehicle born IED and we were hit from the vehicle born IED. And uh, all I remember is seeing a flash and I pushed on the gas and next thing I knew I heard my VC and my squad leader yelling because they got hit and then my whole cabin filled with smoke. Our last incident we were hit by a V-bed. That's a uh, you know, driving vehicle. The driver itself drove into our last striker. The damage to the striker itself it ended up burning to the ground for the most part. It was a uh, pretty, pretty big V-bed that hit us. It small on fire after that. They, uh, and, uh, they had broken bones. I was hit uh, by two IEDs, uh, my Bravo 2-4 vehicle. Uh, the first one wasn't so bad, kind of shook us up, uh, but uh, nobody was seriously injured. Uh, we did well. I had. Uh, on the second one, it was a little bit more uh, dramatic. It was actually a bigger IED. It was a V-bed that the vehicle came by next to us and uh, it actually initiated. Uh, we took uh, myself, I had uh, small burns to my face and the back of my head. I had my driver that had uh, small burns to his uh, head, and, uh, first, second degree burns to his hand. On or about 3 December 2004, while destroying a cache in uh, western Mosul, one of my vehicles was struck by a vehicle born IED. Uh, some minor shrapnel wounds. The 6-6 uh, six, six passed the area, and then as we went, um, blew up on our left side between the driver and uh, the VC hatch on the left side. Uh, blew the striker up, and then uh, blew it over, and uh, blew me up and out of the vehicle and uh, over onto the right side. Um, got up and the, uh, was on the ground, got up, and then I started to pull the crew out. Uh, I've watched uh, vehicles in front of me uh, have a VBIED go off uh, right in front of them. i watched the air guards get blown out of the hatch back into the vehicle. And the striker becomes a supporting vehicle. PG hits 16 IEDs and three V-beds. I was right next to the uh, V-bed that hit one of our strikers. A uh, ball of fire, largest explosion I've seen yet in the country. Seven wounded soldiers in it. We've rolled through multiple car bombs and take, taken a, a few RPGs. They might have flattened tires, you know, maybe sustained minor casualties. All our injuries um, have been mainly to the extremities. I definitely love the striker. Uh, we've only had six uh, with, with catastrophic effects on it. And by that, I mean a hole breach of some sort. And uh, we had six others with minor damage, uh, which required some, some DS level maintenance here to help fix it. And all the others were We'll roll back into the motor pool, put a few more tires on it, uh, fix some of the slat armor damage and some of the external damage stand. It was uh, hit on the front right side of the, of the striker, so mo the, the majority of the impact was towards the front of the vehicle, uh, although the, the flames from the explosion covered the entire top of the vehicle, melting all the sandbags, and some, some fire did come inside the striker, but just briefly. We, uh, we, we had seven tires blow out in the explosion. Our thermal imagery site was uh, completely shattered, the, the outer lens, outer protective lens. The day site was cracked. The driver's periscopes, the, the, the two of them were busted. The left side uh, headlight was busted. We had a, a steering depth on the, on the undercarriage of the striker that was broken. Uh, average time a striker is down is less than 24 hours. Generally it's measured in hours. Um, unless a part is not on hand, and right now in the first two and a half months, about 2,500 to 3,000 miles on the strikers. We had one vehicle lost every uh, every tire was either shot out and then had been hit by uh, an IED and also small arms engagement. The way back here, and you watch our CRT like a NASCAR pit crew. No matter what time of the day or night, uh, the vehicles right behind you just got off of a raid this morning at 04, and the guys are still uh, doing recovery of their uh, weapons and equipment right now hits on them, rocket hits on them, uh, standard uh, 60 millimeter, 81 millimeter damage done to them and there's only been two of them that have actually had any penetration done to them or there's a hole penetration that was probably the size of a, a coffee can. Like I said, I love the striker, definitely. The system protects the soldiers.